Hi, my name is Johan. I am a CEO and co-founder of Enhost. Uh, Enhost is a uh, backend as a service platform, and this talk's title is GraphQL for web and mobile apps made simple. Uh, at Enhost, uh, we think that GraphQL should be simple and available for everyone, not only large, large organizations like Facebook, uh, GitHub, Stripe, and others that are currently using GraphQL. If we take a step back more broadly, we think and believe that building apps should be simple. So let's take a step back and see what are some of the requirements necessary for building an app. So almost every app ha has some variation of, uh, of, of this uh, that they need. So they need a database to store some information, API to send information back and forth. That's pre preferably a GraphQL API, authentication to sign in users, uh, storage to uh, upload funny cat uh, pictures, functions to run some custom code. And if it's a web app, you probably need some, some kind of front end uh, hosting as well. Uh, what we realized was that uh, everything in this stack is relatively easy, except for the GraphQL API layer. However, lately there's been some innovation happening and um, uh, one of those is uh, Hasura, and um, Hasura is this amazing piece of software. It's a GraphQL. They have a GraphQL engine that sits on top of Postgres, and based on the tables and the columns in your Postgres database, it will automatically generate a GraphQL API for you. Um, it's a really beautiful piece of software, as I said, and uh, it has close to 25,000 stars on GitHub and it's being used, used by some big industry names. And as I said, like it's, it's primarily um, a GraphQL engine that uh, automatically generates the API for you. It has subscription for real time, but it also has some other uh, interesting stuff like event triggers, cron jobs. It has, a, it has a nice web console to manage everything and much more. Um, so uh, in our effort to make building apps simple, um, this is kind of our journey for the perfect for the perfect backend. So we have the database. Uh, this is where we use Postgres, GraphQL uh, API. This uh, this is where we can use Hasura. Authentication, we've sold by open sourced a, our own server called Hasura Auth that is integrated into uh, Hasura and um, manages everything related to authentication. Same thing with storage. So we open sourced uh, something that we called Hasura Storage. Uh, that's also very well integrated to Hasura, where you can upload um, any file, basically any object. Uh, and uh, it's uh, backed by S3. So uh, the, the files are actually stored in you know, either AWS S3 or Minio. Uh, for functions, uh, uh, we, we can use something like Node.js and Go. And this whole stack is 100% open source, um, which is also very important for us. So uh, coming back to our initial title, GraphQL made simple. Uh, and we try to make it simple by providing a serverless backend for web and mobile, uh, mobile apps. We take care of the setup, the configuration, and all the infrastructure. So you as a developer can focus on what is important for your app and for your users. Uh, you can think of Enhost as uh, doing for the backend what Netlify and Vercel is doing for the front end. That's like one month on model of thinking about what we're doing. So we're really, there has been a lot of innovation in the front end lately. And we believe that uh, the next like wave of innovation is going to happen in the backend. Um, so yeah, so we, we're a serverless backend. <laughs> And uh, here are some of the uh, some of the things that we provide. So we provide, uh, and I would say, like the top layer here is what uh, is more most important for, uh, about what we provide. So the database, uh, GraphQL API, and authentication. But we also have you uh, covered in various other parts of the uh, backend. So as I mentioned, storage functions. Uh, we have a CLI for um, local development, GitHub integration to you know push uh, push your code to GitHub, and we will automatically deploy migrations and metadata and functions for you, uh, event triggers, and, and, uh, and much more. So uh, now there is really no excuse anymore. GraphQL can be simple and available for everybody. Uh, I now encourage everybody here to build apps that are both fun to develop and that users will love. Thanks. Thank you.